Hey guys, uh, I am uh, just doing some experimentation here. <clears throat> and I am just getting over a cold as well, or actually uh, flu, and thankfully I haven't uh, gotten into a uh, really bad flu where it uh, kept me too much away, but a couple of things I wanted to talk about, or actually I wanted to talk about uh, you know, three reasons why um, people should get into drawing, or some of the top reasons you should get into drawing. So I'm just going to start uh, talking about what drawing does uh, for you, especially what it's been doing for me. And one of the things that I really enjoy uh, is just when I first started uh, trying to sketch things when I was uh, uh, going into college is that I wanted to, to sort of uh, diversify myself and not get into just drawing um, or just getting into uh, an engineering field where I was kind of pigeonholed into doing something just technical. I was really artistic when I was younger, when I was in high school, and I wanted to utilize uh, some of that some of that talent but I really didn't know what to do with it so what ended up happening was I, I looked into the school of, of design of industrial design which seemed to be the perfect fit for me which allowed me to kind of do a couple of things which was to to not only exercise my artistic ability but to kind of utilize that artistic ability and apply it to uh, commercial items and that's basically what uh, industrial design is and then you know now I'm, I'm more or less you know after being in the automotive industry for so long uh, I have I have now gotten more into the managerial role here so I don't I don't get to to draw or sketch much so now the 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 main reason for me to draw is to to just uh, Keep up one with the with the skill set because I don't ever want to lose it. But the other reason is that it just it's really a calming factor for me. It's it's no longer about uh, making the the coolest design or anything like that for me. Now it's more about uh, just kind of stretching my creative potential a little bit. So uh, that's really important to me. I mean, it's really important to not only just do or, or just draw for your job, but to also draw for your enjoyment. And so that's kind of tip number one, is to, to sort of draw. You People draw because it is incredibly relaxing and you get a lot of enjoyment off of doing that. The second thing that I enjoy doing uh, when I start to draw is the uh, how much it just kind of relaxes me because one of the things that I also struggle with especially in this whole uh, world of the internet is the fact that we end up having to constantly uh, engage in social media and that sort of thing and getting into social media you know, it's. I've I've kind of now seen that I am incredibly distracted, even by looking at Facebook posts and looking at uh, news or whatever you want to call it or whatever you want to <laughs> call what you see news today. But uh, uh, it's nevertheless, it's just very distracting right now. Uh, and and sometimes the focus I used to get when I used to draw is also lost. So, so what drawing does for you is to also give you a, a fair amount of focus and concentration. So sometimes when I'm drawing, sometimes I don't really go into just drawing any particular object. I just start practicing fundamentals. I just start going back to drawing blocks and uh, building things off of these blocks. Uh, no, no real purpose at all. Just to kind of uh, see how I can look at things differently. Just start drawing little sections here and 
and and just seeing where they just take me. It isn't really about uh, trying to make something in particular. It's just about getting enough uh, practice uh, doing sort of fundamentals. And, you know, that, those are the things that are really important right now for me is to, well, how do you get into just perfecting your, for your fundamentals and just to make sure that you are uh, keeping up to speed with it. So sometimes when I'm drawing, I will even go back to doing very basic stuff. I might even set up, for instance, you know, just drawing ellipses. You know, some simple things like that. And just get uh, a little bit of that practice in. Now that was, uh, those are two things that we talked about that uh, I do when I want to draw. The third thing that drawing has really helped me is to, uh, is to visualize, is to visualize and to interpret detail. When you start to lay things out, uh, even if you are, I don't know if you, when you look at books, you know, when you start to read books and you're trying to understand a particular concept or somebody's explaining something to you, they always say pictures are worth a thousand words, right? Well, that's true for uh, that is absolutely true when you're starting to draw a concept out or you're trying to get a particular idea out to people is that when you start to draw something then people can identify with that picture a lot easier than they can identify with your words where you're trying to describe your idea if you are and you don't have to be a professional artist either you could you can draw stick figures or whatever it is anything to kind of convey the idea uh, drawing is is such a crucial part with helping people to understand that uh, <laughs> looks like some people are online so guys I know you're asking me some questions and I am filming from my phone, <laughs> so I'm not able to read your comments. So I'm going to see if I can log on to YouTube and see if it's uh, any different here. Uh, give me a moment. If I can't, then I'm just going to just uh, see what kind of questions you guys ask, and then I'll just go from there. Give you my channel. All right. All right. <coughs> so, Jason, okay, so I can see now. Um, is this video going to stay after the live feed? Yeah, it'll stay. So, don't worry about it. It'll still, I'll still be having this thing stick around. I'm not going to erase anything. So basically anything that goes on to the live feed, I think it just stays on until I add an image or something like that. So anyway, those are, you know, the three, the three tips. It's the, you know, what drawing does is that it helps to, um, you know, visualize uh, concepts. Uh, pictures speak a thousand words. And drawing also helps you to relax okay. and thirdly drawing improves your concentration it's awesome I mean I can't even uh, like I said even now uh, for me you know I have to I have to get into the habit of, of continuing to do this more and more on my free time which is not a lot because now as a, a guy that manages a team it's uh, you just don't have the same amount of time you used to you're just having to find other avenues to uh, entertain yourself I guess and, and that's what I do when I when I get into uh, 
my YouTube channel is, you know, my purpose is now helping you guys, is to, to help you guys be better or to, to find your path and find your way and to doing something that you might enjoy, whether that could be a hobby or whether that is um, uh, to pursue a, a career in design or whether that's to pursue the arts or whether it's just to enjoy a hobby. Drawing is by far probably one of the, 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 the most economical subjects that you could get into. It doesn't cost a lot of money. I mean, what are we talking about? We're talking about a pencil. You're picking up a pencil and, and you just start taking a piece of paper and that's it. I mean, that's, that's all you need to get started. It's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, even with, with digital painting and drawing, what do you have to do? You have to, you have to end up um, buying some equipment or whatever it is, right? So some people don't want to do that. All right, got another, uh, how much, oh, how much do I draw a week? Well, you know what? It, it really, it really depends. I mean, it's, uh, whew, that's a tough question. I try to draw every day and it doesn't work out that way. <laughs> I, I want to draw every day. So we'll put it uh, that way. But I think uh, the amount of time I spend drawing now is probably, I don't know, I would say maybe on average a, a half hour a day or something. And, and that's probably all you need is just a half hour a day. You don't have to spend uh, too much time. At least I don't spend that much time now. But you can. I mean, you should. I mean, if you're starting out, if you want to be really good, then by all means, you should be spending hours and hours. Uh, and then on some, some good days, or, or if I'm not, you know, looking after the kids, or if I've got to, you know, take them somewhere, then, you know, sometimes on the weekend I'll draw with them. Right? They, I mean, in fact, my kids are. I have been heavily influenced by the stuff that I do, <laughs> so they try to, they try to draw it, and then I try to teach them. I try to coach them on on how to be a little bit more creative. So we may, for instance, I don't know, uh, we may, for instance, start drawing uh, dinosaurs, for instance. So so part of the things that really helps me is that uh, my kids bring. A, an entirely different set of uh, creative juices actually to the table because I am still somewhat constrained by the real world, right? So, uh, especially with, you know, when you when I'm working for a company and we look at manufacturing and everything has to be uh, somewhat, uh, everything has to be real, right? Everything has to be engineered. So, so what happens is that uh, my kids come back and they may say well dad I want to draw a bar <laughs> and I'd sit there and go uh, really that's a great idea <laughs> let's figure out how we got to do that so we may go in through an exercise and say all right well let's look at this praying mantis and what do we you know what do we take as the the shape of the head right the shape of the head looks like this and and uh, what would we want to use as the, the shape of the windshield uh, if you're going to make this thing a car? So you start to sort of dissect and it really challenges you yourself of, well, how am I going to, to interpret this myself? And so, you know, the kids, especially the kids these days, uh, they're, they're so incredibly intelligent. They, they see things differently and, and now they're also sort of connected with uh, you know, visually stimulated with um, all the things that they're seeing on on the internet and all that other stuff. So it's it's pretty amazing to to watch their growth pattern. So I'm just drawing with a gray marker here. So someone else is asking me the question, how can I start, how can I start drawing? 
<laughs> so, well, you, 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 you get a sheet of paper and then you, you start uh, picking up a pencil and then you start to look at reference photographs and just start drawing what you see. And that is the, the first step into learning to be a good designer is being self-aware of what you see out there. I have to admit, I am getting, I get so bored of drawing the same stuff. <laughs> That's why when I, when my kids say, hey, I want you to draw a praying mantis or I want you to draw something else, then I'm like, oh man, you know, why don't I try that? You know, it's, it's something different. It's, uh, I've never tried it before. And, and again, it, it kind of stretches your boundaries. So I've started to draw things like uh, eagles. I've started to draw uh, uh, lion cubs and all this stuff. And I tell you, it's it's really really cool. So sometimes you, a lot of people, when they see me posting things, they're like, "Well, where are all the cars?" And I think you guys end up missing the point. So sometimes I'm thinking that maybe I'm not explaining myself very well as to why I'm doing some of the things that I'm doing. Um, you'll see posts right now where I've got, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, you'll see posts where uh, I start drawing like scorpions or things like that. <laughs> Something that is a little bit off or different than what I'm typically doing. And why am I doing that is because I'm also trying to expand my uh, visual vocabulary, right? Because that's that's what a designer does is that you start to draw many different things and then after a while you, you sort of try to leverage all that and bring it back. So, uh, I wanted to become an auto body designer. I have drawings of cars for G4 GT, Mustang, if you're not a, uh, what classes would you recommend me take? Oh, okay. So, I don't know Jason. Uh, so, Jason Zeng is asking me a question and I don't um, I don't know if you're in uh, college or if you are in high school, but uh, definitely try to look at uh, some you know online uh, 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 courses. If you don't have something that's local, I think that if you can if you can find a place that has uh, some yeah you know, uh, let's see continuing education, uh, that would be nice. You can go and enroll and and. Uh, enroll into the school and talk to the instructor and get some feedback. Otherwise, you know, online courses are probably the best way to go. I mean, right now it's just a different world. It's, you know, previously people just didn't have access to uh, good instructors. So I also sell a, a DVD set and a course. In fact, I'm redoing some of my courses. Um, I'm starting up in an academy too, which is kind of cool where I'm, I'm doing exactly what I'm talking about is to talk about the value of visual thinking and drawing. And part of that will we'll also have like a transportation section and uh, some other sections as well. So, But you know mainly you should try to, to practice you know over above all this stuff is you know, practicing is really going to be the, the most important thing for you to do. Danica uh, Chiaogsen. All right. Danica, I hope I pronounced that correctly. So uh, let me, how do I start? Your, okay, yeah. So I, I mentioned this before. When you want to start, uh, you know, sometimes people just get, uh, they find it difficult just to get started. So, and I agree. It In principle, it always sounds very easy to say hey just pick up a pencil but that's kind of what it is I think that like I said we end up getting so distracted with like Facebook and uh, social media Instagram doing all this stuff that we be really find it difficult to to sit down and start to sketch something because we, <laughs> We are starting to become a very ADD world where we're not able to, to put a lot of focus and time and energy uh, into uh, 
just sitting down and taking the pleasure to, to draw something. And and that's too bad. I mean, because you know, at the end of the day, if you want to improve, uh, it's the drawing that's going to give you the focus, right? The focus that you need to be able to, and the practice. I mean, the, by practicing, you're going to get, uh, it's going to allow you to improve your ability, and it's also going to help you with your focusing. Uh, so, another question some people are asking, how do you find metal reflections? <laughs> so, this was not going to be, this is going to be some tips in you know, finding reflections or understanding reflections. But I think, you know, the best way to, to really understand reflections is to look at, uh, you should really look at um, uh, photo reference. You know, first start to understand, um, l dissect the photo for what it is and start marking up the photo and see where it is that you see these reflections. Um, I do teach, uh, by the way, a course, but uh, in that course, basically what you need to do is to, is to really understand where the apex of the curvature is on your surfaces. And that's typically where your, your peak of your reflections are going to be, is right up to that apex. I mean, there's so much more uh, to it, it's kind of tough to explain. But, you know, I've got some, I think, YouTube videos, I think, that may even um, explain some of that. If it doesn't, then maybe I'll, I'll maybe create a, a short video or something. See, I tell you what, I'm drawing this car, but I am so, so bored of doing this stuff. <laughs> it's the same, same thing. How can I improve painting the cars? Well, you know what? I, it depends. You know, what's, what do you need improvement on? Yeah, most of it uh, comes down to uh, uh, just practicing. I mean, sometimes you have to, to realize that your, your sketches and the things that you do, they're never going to be the best at the beginning. I mean, if you think I started drawing like this, that... Uh, that never happened ever I mean I was honestly I think I think what I need to do guys is to kind of show you some of the stuff that I drew before because I was not into automotive stuff at all I mean automotive ended up being a personal challenge for me when you go into product design you know if especially if you don't go to one of the specialized schools uh, you know I learned a lot from some of my friends who went to the private universities and and I went to a good school but I went to more of a, a product design school rather than transportation school and then I worked my tail off <laughs> to, to uh, learn the transportation portion of it I mean I literally spent uh, you know, thousands of, uh, of hours I guess of, of just self dedication uh, and just uh, and and just focusing and learning on my own. I took some classes and then I uh, and then I just uh, put a lot of time and study into it. And you can learn, I mean I have to say you can still learn quite a bit. Even online you can learn a lot of uh, techniques. But again, uh, your, your, your improvement is really going to be dependent on uh, the amount of input, right? So input equals your output. You're only going to be as good as the amount of time and investment that you put into yourself. Uh, which means that, you know, sometimes you may have to buy a course or something. Uh, because just watching the stuff on YouTube, uh, it's not easy to do it that way. Because you know, nothing on YouTube is, you know, the videos are all spread out everywhere. You're not having everything in one place, and some people sort of need a beginning to uh, 
you know, they need to understand where do I start and then where do I end. I'm so mad right now at myself for drawing this Audi because <laughs> I like I should be drawing something that I'm not used to drawing, which is uh, I don't know a pelican or something. <laughs> I gotta bring out some of these other drawings that I did uh, previously. See if I can find them. Um, uh, give me a moment. Looking at a lot of older stuff that I have. You know, as I'm sketching and you know, drawing, this is all 11 by 17. And then, uh, again, this is actually marker paper that I'm using here for this. Uh, this is just regular copy paper that I was using. Draw anime! <laughs> you know what? Uh, I wouldn't mind. I, I would probably be horrible at it. I mean, uh, Mark Crilly, who is on YouTube, he's got uh, like over 2 million subscribers. He's <laughs> the guy. Is, and guess what? He's in Michigan. He's right here. You know, maybe I got to interview that guy or something, right? I think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, in fact, I am going to be interviewing another uh, friend of mine who works for Honda R&D, who is uh, really uh, pretty amazing. So sometime uh, in the future, look out for that. Um, let me see. What marker am I using? Um, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something, guys. It doesn't matter what marker. This one, I, I'm the markers I was using is the is the Prismacolor. Uh, I just purchased these because the markers that I've been using right now have been are so old. In fact, you can, uh, if I told you how old they were, I would bring those out kind of having fun shooting the shit here so uh, these Trium marker sets you won't believe how old this is I, I think this is let me think I think this is like uh, 15 years old yeah yeah man these are like 15 years old and they're so freaking bad that when I use them, they give me a headache. So I had to get some, get some new ones. I had to get some new uh, markers. So I haven't pitched those. And then let me see, what else do I use? I've got a set of uh, yeah, Prismacolor pencils. And these are here. These are light fast Prismacolor pencils. I got actually a ton of them. And I got them all over the place. You know, I'll just end up putting them into, you know, my pencil holder or whatever. But, uh, so that's there. But, uh, like I said, I mean, for me, it is, uh, you know, super crucial. I mean, I have to, it's a necessity for me to draw. I mean, I have to do it. And I think that a lot of people should cultivate that habit of, uh, of learning to draw. I mean, uh, just because... Like I said, you know, the three main things that help you to draw is uh, helping you to visualize on your own. And, you know, so many other different benefits is just to improve your concentration. Uh, yeah, Prismacolor is really, uh, well, I mean, it depends. I mean, so these, I tell you what, these colors, I do like Prismacolors. And honestly, it really doesn't matter what you want to use. But uh, Copics have been really popular. I don't have a set of them because uh, I just, I have, if I showed you my my marker bin, I used a lot of chart packs and I have a ton of the chart pack markers. And I haven't used them all up yet. So uh, they're probably one of my favorites, the chart packs. Uh, and you, I'll go through a lot of those those drawings. I will go through a ton of it. So I don't use, um, I mean, a ton of drawings, that is. So I am completely markered out. If I were you, if, if you are just beginning and you're going to end up spending a lot of time drawing, then what I would do is to uh, look at 
uh, maybe getting Copics or the, or the Copics is so that you can refill them or something. Uh, there are other brands out there, but you know, most of all, really, what you should focus on is just is just to practice. It's just to draw whatever it is that you can. I mean, you could even uh, technically, if you start to uh, just look at any kind of found objects, you know, whatever that might be. Uh, it could be like a computer mouse, right? I mean, you could just take something that you use every day and then say, hey, I want to, how do I draw this? You know, how do I interpret this? How do I interpret this form? What is this form doing? And, and just, you know, it's a wonderful way to practice. You don't have to draw cars, uh, folks. I mean, draw whatever it is that you can. Um, when I was, one of the biggest mistakes when I was younger was to tell myself that, hey, I only like to draw things that I'm interested in. And that is, that is where you start to miss out because uh, you just don't know what kind of uh, ideas you're going to generate when you start to draw things, you know, when you start to draw everything. Because uh, if you remember Steve Jobs, it's, you know, ideas, if, if you want to think of any new ideas, it's all about connecting the dots. It's, it's learning things uh, for the sake of learning. And then hopefully over time, you know, some things that you learn, you may be able to connect together. And it's, it's really challenging your mind. It's challenging how you see things. Uh, that's really going to be important. So uh, that's kind of my, my advice. Is don't just stick to, to one particular thing. Is, is try, to, uh, try to go to the process of, of learning as much as you can. Don't just stick to, to uh, one thing or one subject, as tempting as it can be. Of course, unless you get a job into that particular field, then by all means, yes. If, if automotive is what you want, then yeah, you're going to have to draw a, a crap load of cars, <laughs> uh, among everything, among other things. If you want to go into concept design, uh, then, then you know what? You don't have much of a choice. You're going to have to learn everything. You're going to have to learn anatomy. You're going to have to learn how to draw people. You're going to have to learn how to draw many, many different things. Because uh, that's what concept design is. Uh, so it's, it's, it's even uh, more difficult because you got to learn a lot of different techniques. Because if you're visualizing fantastic uh, landscapes and stuff, then you got to learn how to draw those landscapes so where can I study to become an automotive designer engineer in states because I am from a different country well Joel Green um, well I, you know you, you probably I would probably I guess what if it's automotive engineering go to uh, my friend's site car body design and in his, I think in one of his sections, he has a section for schools, and he's got a list of all the automotive design schools out there. So uh, check that out. It's got a lot of good stuff in it, a lot of good videos. Hey, it's something, it's, it's really a, a funny experience when you're trying to talk and draw live. I don't do this very often, and man, I need to do it. <laughs> I kind of really enjoy the interaction with uh, speaking with people and understanding what their pain points are. And if you guys are looking for more drawings, by the way, or if you're, I've got a, a really nice guide. Um, it's an ultimate guide to sketching, so you can go to my blog, you can pick that up. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Except uh, your email address where I'll bug the crap out of you. Just kidding. <laughs> Even that is, is difficult. I'm trying to get back to routine where I can communicate with you guys and 
you know, send you messages when I got another video coming up, but even that's been been taxing with uh, working full time and stuff. So, but I'll say one thing that uh, even uh, the people that are working under me, you know, I tell them, you know, the value of, of sketching and drawing uh, as part of your critical thinking process. Uh, or even to convey the idea. Uh, very, very important. I'm using a Prismacolor pencil, by the way. Oh, my site is just driven to draw dot com. So like the typical background we do. Drop this little section through here. I mean, you got to go through so many iterations to come up with something interesting. This is actually pretty boring looking. <laughs> Uh, Joel Green, how I became such a good artist. Well, um, uh, really, it's just, Joel, it's just uh, just practice. Uh, sometimes, you know, people think there's some magic formula. And, and by the way, if, if people are telling you you have to be gifted, that's all a bunch of BS. Uh, you don't have to be gifted. Uh, all you have to do is practice. And that's... I remember when I was first drawing cars, and I, I'm literally just like you, okay? I'm asking the same questions to another uh, uh, designer way back when I was starting out. and uh, I asked him the same questions you're asking. It's like nothing for you. And he just says, dude, honestly, it's nothing special. It's just, it's just practice. And... Uh, and honestly, that's that's what it is because it's, you know what it is. I mean, it's not just the practice. It's it's getting a routine down, right? So that you get into the zone, and you start to draw, and you start to get really interested in this stuff when you're in the zone. You know what, guys? I am almost running out of my cell phone battery is saying 15 percent and I really need to, to, to look at getting another phone soon because I've had this phone for four years and I've been too lazy to go out and get a Google Plus or, or Pixel 2 or something but uh, I'm definitely going to have to go buy another phone because this battery just doesn't last. So, But, you know, what are some of the things you guys like to draw? I mean, you know, what are you guys interested in? What are you guys uh, struggling with? I, I did have a, a poll out there where I asked some, I asked some questions uh, from people. Uh, what they were struggling with, what they wanted to learn. I don't know if anyone has had a chance to look at that. Uh, I'm trying to pull out some other drawings here. Here's some more practice stuff. Is when you start to draw, uh, get into drawing product. 
uh, just drawing simple things like cameras and having shapes, those things. Again, automotive sketches. I have uh, my paintings as well that I do, digital paintings. Here's some other sketches that I do. Just having a little fun. Drawing some beamers. Whatever. Alright, so I'm just looking through the comments, see if I missed anything else. Daniel Deagle, you're a great artist. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Draw anime. Draw anime, Danica. I remember that. <laughs> I don't draw anime. I should. I should try to do something like that. New car designer. great artist. So, I mean, anyway, uh, I've kind of gone over with the, uh, what we were talking about earlier, which was the three reasons to start drawing. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, I'll try to see if I can do some of these interactive sessions uh, in the future too. So, uh, come back to the site or if you haven't gone to driven to draw if you're looking for the the guide it's actually a terrific guide it's a uh, it's a great thing to kind of start off with because it, it really gives you a nice range of things that drawing is is useful uh, for you know why would you want to engage in the art of drawing and all that stuff so, and it doesn't cost you anything too so head on over to the site to driven to draw and uh, I will see you here next time on driven to draw. Have a good one guys and uh, be on the lookout for the next video on uh, Thursday. So that's coming up. See you guys.